So welcome everybody to uh, Brow Edit tutorial number three, which is advanced level uh, terrain editing. And today we'll be covering the following. That will be global height editing, which will be used to design rooms and walls. And then we're going to proceed to detail terrain editing, which is going to be to create slopes, hills, and uh, texture, kind of like uh, texture. Uh, unevenness in the, the terrain, so you have tiny like little ground sloping so that the, the terrain is a little bit more realistic. And then finally, we're going to be looking into water level editing. So we're going to form canals and rivers, and we can just do a little bit, little bit of stuff with water. So just to make your map a little more, uh, uh, more de uh, detailed and just more realistic as well. Okay, so before we start, I need you guys to download the tutorial number three map which we'll be using uh, in this tutorial so you guys can follow along what I'm doing so if you would like to download it you can go to the following any of the following links to download the file I made a lot of uh, uploads just so there's a big variety for you guys and once you have that downloaded it's very small it's less than like 12 kilobytes so it's very small but when, when you unpack it it's big but uh, once you download the file, unpack, it on your, unpack the files on the top, and then open it with Brow Edit. Okay. So let's start off with uh, with opening the map. If you haven't, uh, if you have downloaded the file. Okay. So here it is right now. As you can see, we we have one over here, which I told you will be used for global height edit. Uh, two, which I told you will be used for the uh, detailed terrain editing, and then three will be for our water editing. Okay. So let's start off with. Uh, the first one, global height editing. Now, uh, before I begin, I would like you to just do something very quickly. As you uh, can, you please go to uh, texture edit. I'm pretty sure it's already default on texture edit when you uh, start up brow edit. But if it is not, go to uh, edit mode, texture edit, and then I want you to click T to open the texture menu, like I talked to you before in the previous tutorial. And uh, then I would like you to click this texture right here. It looks like a bunch of uh, Looks like a, either it's books or a bunch of columns, not sure. Anyways, click that. We're going to be using that for our walls. So I'll explain to you that, about that later. Okay. So, let's div, uh, make our first wall. To do that, go to Edit Mode, Global Height Edit. So, click that. Next, we got to create a perimeter around here to form a wall. Okay, so to do that, hold left click and then drag. And then you can make, you can either uh, make it like, no height at all, which will do nothing, right? Or you can expand it or go the other direction, doesn't really matter, okay? Just let you know, if you would drag this onto the uh, no texture draw, you don't see it. No matter how far you go out, you will not see it, but if, but uh, you can still raise it. I'll, ta I'll talk to you about that in just a few seconds. So just select a one cell perimeter, just a one cell, nothing bigger, okay? And then draw a line all the way down, just like that. Next, I want you to hold control to continue the path going this direction. If you do not hold control, watch what happens. Hold, if I, this is what happens if I do not hold control, and I continue hold it by uh, holding left click to draw it again. The, uh, the first part disappears, but the second part remains. That's not what we want. We want the whole thing to be connected together. So to do that, hold left click, draw your first uh, side of the wall, hold control, hold left click and draw the second side of the wall, keep holding control. You can well you you can let go of control after you've uh, uh, let after you let go of a uh, left click, but you could you will need to hold control whenever you hold left click to uh, continue the walls. Okay. Next, we get the next wall. Hold control again, and then hold left click to draw the last piece of the wall. Okay. Now you can let go of control. Do not click left click. Okay. Do not click left click uh, the left uh, mouse button, or else you will lose the entire thing. So let's. Uh, raise this level of terrain so we can create our walls. So to do that, simply press page up to go up or page down to go down. Pretty simple. So we want to do uh, 25 page ups. That's what I find to be generally the average wall height for a room comparing to a sprite or a person. So click at 25 times page ups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Good. Now you can actually let go of, uh, you can click the left click, uh, the left mouse button to deselect it. But uh, 
If you want to do to do a little bit extra work, you can create a, just a tiny opening right here, which could be, let's say, it was going to be a doorway, right? So just hold page down, and then you can zoom in using the middle uh, mouse wheel, and then just line it up so the terrain meets the other, the other part of the terrain, and then you know it's lined up properly. You can move around, like I said in the previous tutorial, if you haven't, uh, if you forgot to move around with your camera, just go back to the first, uh, the uh, first tutorial for navigational and controls. You can certainly figure out how to move the camera around again. Okay, so next, go to ter texture edit and select the black texture, just just one small piece like that. Then I want you to press the uh, plus uh, key to uh, make it big and uh, press the space bar to change the direction and then just on the top of the walls I want you to put the black texture okay so just the top of the walls just like that and just select the smaller piece to get a smaller uh, a covering like that so you can only fit here because you, you don't want black texture on here right so that's it so the top is done that's good and the walls are almost formed we just gotta put textures on it the walls are there but we just gotta you know put textures on that and uh, then we can proceed to the next step, which will be our uh, uh, detailed terrain edit. So now I would like you, make sure you're still on texture edit, to just select this portion of the wall, okay? Just one small piece, just like that, okay? You don't need to press spacebar or anything for this, but in texture edit, I would like you to select one piece of the, of, uh, of the uh, wall texture we chose over here. Now before I continue, I would like to say that wall edit is very buggy. And uh, if you do not uh, use it correctly and properly, then you can crash brow edit very easily. So before we begin, I would like you to save your progress of what we just did. So go to File, and then Save. Okay, and that should save the, the file that you just placed on your desktop, because we're opening it from our desktop. Okay, so now I would like you to go to Wall Edit. To do that, you can either A, from go from click Edit Mode, and then click Wall Edit, or the faster way, which is just F4. So now that we're in uh, wall edit, it's very easy to make a wall. Just, you see this red box that, that's, uh, when I move in here, you see that little red box right there? That's, uh, that's very important because we got to put that right beneath the, uh, the tile right beside the wall. You see this, this piece here is going to be the wall. We got to place the red uh, box right bes uh, in front of the wall, just like that, okay? Now, we do this, the texture, the texture, sorry, that's, I just clicked right click there in case you're wondering. Uh, to, why we do this is because now we're going to make the texture in front here, not behind here, not yet, just the front over here. So now that we have our texture highlighted from uh, texture edit, click the comma key, okay? If that doesn't work, then click the period. It's just all trial and error depending on the angle of the camera, but if that doesn't work, just click the comma key. And now that we're making, now we're making our walls. Okay. If you see that this is a little too pixelated, as you could see, click F1, click F1 to go back uh, to texture edit. Right. Do not select the texture in wallet. That will crash it. Uh, go to F1 and click. Uh, just, just uh, highlight a bigger piece. Before we had a one cell. Now we're gonna make this into a two cell. And do not expand it down here, all the way, but all the way, all the way to the bottom into the purple area. Do not do that. Just stop like right here. See, see, see my red bars right now. Just one more down, just like that. Okay. So now we have like a two piece right now. Click F4 to go back to wall edit, and then click comma. And now you can see it's a little bit better. Continue clicking comma, right? Just like that. Or this little trick I figured out some time ago. But let's just say it's a very long wall. And you do not want to, you know, click comma every single time you go across a, a cell. Just hold comma. So hold it, and you'll notice that it it does the whole thing. Just just hold it, and then let go the moment the texture appears. You gotta get used to it, actually. But you'll figure it out very quickly. Okay. So now that's done. Now let's proceed to the next side of the wall. This big one right here. As as you can see, if you click comma, it won't show the texture. So let's try period. Period doesn't work either. So what do we do? This is what we gotta do. We gotta take this red uh, box and put it actually on top of the wall. So you see where the black area is? Just right on top. Place that right on top. Any anywhere you want on this wall. And then click comma. If that doesn't work, click period. And there we go. 
So now we could see it hold period. And there we go. Now we have walls and uh, wall textures on both sides of, of this wall over here. Next, let's try this side. Is, is karma going to work on the ground? Nope. Is period? Nope. So that means we got to go to the top. So does comma work? Yes, period doesn't, just comma. Remember, only one only one thing actually works. So you'll never forget, so you'll never uh, sorry, be confused what's going to be uh, whether it's going to work or not. Only one of them is going to work. So period this in this case it's going to be comma. So just hold comma and there we go. We got it. We got the first wall on that side. Lastly, we're almost done the outside. We still got to do the inside, but the outside's almost done. Put the red box again right at the bottom of the front right here. Press comma. Nope. Period. Yes. Good. So we got that piece done. And then lastly, if as you can see, this wall is on the same side of this wall. So we know that's going to be the same key to decorate this, which is comma. La next, we got to move into here. So as you can see, this piece of wall, that's going to be a uh, no. Period. Period right there. And then it's going to be, no, not comma, period also right here. So period on top here, and then period from down here. I know it, it's it's a little different, but you'll get used to it in no time. Trust me, you will. Next, we're going to do the inside. So, comma, no. Period, no. Period here, no. Comma, yes. So comma, yes. Same here with comma, because it's on the same side as this wall. OK. Uh-huh. And now for this side. Don't worry, if you click right click and you formed a red box, just right click again and it'll go away. It doesn't really do anything, but nope, not period, not comma up here, not period, sorry, not comma, it's period. Good, so we have a period there. Over here, comma, nope, period over here. And then lastly, until you don't see any more water, you know all your walls are covered, so it's not too hard to figure that out. Comma, yes. Good, so now that we have our entire room filled with walls and it's textured, we've just created our first room. Okay, so that's good to know. If you would like to, you could put uh, objects in here and decorate it and stuff like that. Be my guest. You can, you can certainly do that after we're done the, uh, the tutorial. Okay, so let's save our progress. So click F1. Do not go to File while you're still in Wall Edit. Click F1 to go back to Texture Edit. File. Save. Good, now that we saved our progress, we can move on to the next step, which will be global height, uh, so not global, uh, detailed terrain edit, sorry. Okay, so number two is detailed terrain edit. This one is actually quite easy, so you will find this to be no problem at all. So the first thing we're going to do is make some, uh, first of all, go to detailed terrain edit and select four. What the four means is it creates a four by four cell box, just like that. Okay, next we want to go to edit and then click sloping. Okay, edit then sloping. If you do not do that and you left click, you'll notice the ground raises itself up, but you start seeing holes in the ground where it leads into the pit of water. To get rid of it, just click U to click the undo key and then go back to it and then click sloping. And then you'll notice that everything uh, attaches itself together. Now, this is very useful for giving your terrain more life and more details like unevenness, rocky areas, stuff like that. So just to do that, simply hold left click and then just drag it all across your ground just like this. Hold, keep holding left click and just drag your mouse all the way across this ground while you're in global height edit. If you do not want a 4x4 four four cell, simply press the, click the plus key and you'll expand the, the uh, radius of your global height area and you can build up a higher area. Okay. Now if you want to make it smaller, press the minus key. Now if you notice, you'll see that our ground now has unevenness, so it gives it more life and texture and details. Okay? So that's what that's a little bit about sloping.